For those Bulldogs, they had a bit of an up and down season. It ends at five and six. We spoke to their head coach, Eric Smith, after the game. We just made too many mistakes, and we didn't execute on offense. I thought our defense actually played very well. Uh, we kind of gave them a touchdown offensively. We couldn't control their seven men in the box. We weren't able to throw good enough. I just think they have a little bit of better athletes than we do. And it showed because in space, they're a little quicker than us, and we just couldn't make the big play. This is the end of Tyler's uh, sophomore year. What did you see from him tonight and then his overall growth throughout the year? Well, he got better. I mean, he's going to continue to get better as he processes the game. The game should become a little bit slower. I think he. That's probably what I'm most proud of. He's already grasped the offense. It's just a matter of making the plays when it counts. And tonight we're a little bit off on certain plays, and it showed, and they weren't. And they were able to make some good plays uh, with their wide receivers. And they were able to not run the ball a whole lot, but they were able to pass it down the field. And we kind of struggled, and we take pride in our passing game. So we'll work on it. We'll get better. Your guys made the playoffs despite a difficult season. What did you tell them right there in the huddle? Well, I told them, you know, at the end, it's. I'm hoping they take the life's virtues. Uh, we've talked them, uh, taught them, and I hope they take it on to their future. Time will heal all wounds, and I hope they take the time, and they'll look back on this, and I want them to remember the good times and then pass on the game of football for the rest of their lives. Thanks. All right, congratulations to those Bulldogs. Uh, they had a fantastic season this year. Unfortunately, it ended tonight. Well, we're going to take a break, but first, uh, last year, you might remember 13 year old Nathan Garcia. He was a Kern County resident, uh, died one day, just one day after his 13th birthday of cancer. He was a big USC fan. He even played football for NOR himself. Uh, Nathan's family, and in particular his mother Jessica, put on a toy drive last year. Uh, it raised about, it, they collected about 4,000 toys last year in the drive. Well, it's on again this year. We encourage you to donate. It began this week and it'll run through November 30th. Like I said, we encourage you to donate a toy. You can drop off a toy at any uh, Terrio location. And also, we'll have more uh, information about that on our website.